manifestation. <laughs> Most of you don't realize that you can actually create the life that you want to live. Most of you are making it too hard work. Two guides moving around backwards and forwards. Okay. Uh, and there's like a little double act here. Let's have a little look. We need one of you just to come in. That's it. Brilliant. Okay. So most of you do not realize that you can actually create the life that you wish to create. But what has happened is the brain has been brainwashed. We have told this many times before. You have created a structure of your world around you and you only think your life can be in this shape and form. You do not realize that you can actually make changes to it. The structure that you've had put in from the day that you were, you were called birthed or born on your planet, you have been influenced from outside sources, as in... Um, Yes, your family members and the society you live in. And most of you think that you cannot create the life that you wish to live in. You have been told endlessly many, 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 many times that those members around you that you are of whatever class or sector or society or culture and what you should be doing and gender and what you race and no, 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 no. And many of you fit yourself into these little brackets and thinking how you should be living your life mm. or thinking that a person like yourself from whatever background it is that cannot reach your wherever you need to reach or the destiny or where you've come from or to move forward. Ah, what's utter nonsense? You must understand that you as an individual human being the way that you think and feel about yourself is creating your own energy and your energy field around you. Internally within yourself of how you think of yourself, you are creating the external energy around you. If you are in internal chaos, you will then bring in the external chaos into your lives. Now, it's important for you to understand this. For you to create some change, to change your life in whatever shape or form, whether that is you want this job, this house, this location, this property, money, whatever it is, it it does not matter. It is irrelevant of what it is, but knowing that it is just there for you. Now, if you see yourself in your physical self of where you've come from or how you see yourself and you give yourself a, a title or a label, you then constrict yourself of growth. Many of you who do the manifestation are finding it difficult because you create a list and then many of you then are moaning that it hasn't materialized and then you give up hope many of you you are impatient we we see you watching you look at your watch or clocks or other devices and if it hasn't arrived when you think it should arrive you give up hope and some of the times that's when it is then delivered because you've let go of the fact it hasn't arrived and then it can be delivered to you. Now, again, with your energy of who you are and where you are within your vessel, how you think of yourself, you interact with your world around you and you are going to attract like for like. So if you do want to manifest or create the energy of what it is that you want you have to reach that point within yourself too okay so your energy stream of how you feel about yourself you've got to feel worthy of stepping into whatever it is that you need or you want now, some of you will be saying, well, how can I get to that point if I've not been in that? So th there are many of you who seek out the love, the connections or the partnerships. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they just stepped out on this. I had to look to see those signs, those snapshots. So the way I did, I saw everything as a snapshot. So whatever it is that you feel that you want in your life is to take a snapshot of it. And what I mean is, 
when I was out and about, I started seeing couples holding hands and I would like feel into that, how I would feel in a relationship by holding someone's hand. For me, that was a major thing. I didn't receive that from my last relationship. That was a big deal. So for me, it was like holding their hand. That is what I wanted. I wanted to have that companionship. Someone to be my cheerleader. So that was a snapshot in my mind. I took that, snapped it like a photograph. I put it into my mind. And then I went into the feelings of that, how I think I would feel if I was holding someone's hand, how much that meant to me. And then I did this with a lot of, you know, different things. Like every time I saw a couple kissing or going out to eat or somebody talking, those sort of things. So that made a big difference. And I ended up saying, I am ready. This is what I want. This is what I'm going to have. And then when I had my moments of sitting on my own, I would literally, my meditation, I would then sort of almost like daydreaming. So before I'd go to bed, I would like go through the clips from the day of what I've seen, like from other people. And I would have those clips playing, playing back in my mind, like a little movie of um, feeling into those moments that I had during the day. So that would go into my dream state. Now, we are multifaceted, multidimensional beings. So when we go into dream state, we are not the human vessel in the dream world. I mean, I've worked with loads of consultants at the hospital, and I remember saying to a couple of neurosurgeons about the mind and the brain, and they said, we can't actually physically see exactly where the imagination is or bits and pieces. So there's so much we need to find out still about the brain. So when I've been doing work channeling, they've been giving me more information that when you are resting, when you're sleeping, you go into different uh, brainwave patterns. And then some of the brainwave patterns as you go in and out, so does the soul move in and out of different dimensions. So when you go to sleep and you're trying to manifest something, you step into how you would feel, whether it's in a relationship or whether uh, it is a car you want or a home, whatever it is. And at the moment, I'm manifesting a home. So the idea is, what is it that you want in your life? What would it mean to you? And then you see yourself before, this is the, the quickest way to do it, is in your dream state before you go to bed. It is to see yourself in that position. So I started seeing myself in a relationship. I remember feeling that warmth of that person, imagine that they're there by my side, and it manifests itself. And it manifests itself very quickly, let me tell you. Uh, I ran a workshop a couple of years ago and there was about 20 something people in this workshop and it was all about manifestation. Now in this workshop, I had two people that had written down they wanted to win the lottery. And I said, this is not how it works. So I said, you either put your hands up or they're coming to you. And, and spirit showed me, it sounds harsh, but spirit showed me and, and did this and sort of said, these are the individuals. So I said, if you are, you know, brave enough you know own up who it is and the one of the individuals says she wanted to win the lottery and I said my guides are saying to you how dare you say that you want to win the lottery because what you're doing is you're absolutely pigeonholing how they deliver you what you really want in life and it's not the money as such it's something else behind it so we need to go deeper now for her it was all about she wanted a car and it was about a Mercedes. So I said, have you actually sat in a Mercedes? No, she hadn't ever sat in a Mercedes. So I said, well, one of the things you need to do is go to that car showroom, go sit, hold the steering wheel, smell the leather, imagine you're driving it, close your eyes. And I said, why a Mercedes? And she said, because of what was going on in her family situation, she wanted to feel that she had achieved something in life. So she was coming from a background where parents had split up and times are really hard. And I said to her, you need to put yourself in that car. Imagine how it would feel. So I said to her, close your eyes. How would it feel when you're driving to work? And she said, I'd be waving to people on the motorway, the freeway. She said, and I'd make me feel this certain way. And I said, those are the feelings. You need to bring it in. Use your senses. You need. That's why, you, as a human, you're given these senses. Your soul doesn't have those senses. That's why the soul is brought into the human vessel, so you can work with your senses. So I said to her, you need to imagine it, you need to smell it, you need to be holding the steering wheel and allow it to happen. I said, even the finest stitches, all the stitches on the actual leather steering wheel, you need to see that. And it's how it makes you feel. And I said, what was the other thing that you wanted? Because I said, it's not just about the money. The money doesn't hold a frequency. 
because if you think of it as money some people it depend on your background I know mine was very poor background that with money there was a lot of like negative feelings and emotions around it because we had lack of and if you're coming from a place of lack of or wondering or like I haven't got it I need it then you're in that negative state so it was like looking at what else that she wanted to win the lottery for and it was about she wanted to buy her mum a house because they were renting and not every one of them had a, a spare bedroom to themselves. They all had to share. So I said to go with the emotions in your heart. So your heart is connected to your soul and your soul is listening to everything that you feel and you think it, it vibrates. It's like a lighthouse. It sends a, a frequency into the universe. So the idea is to go from the soul and to the heart place. And what is it that your heart truly desires? So she wanted the house. So I said, you have to visualize what would you like about the house? How would it be? I mean, I've done this. I've actually visualized and manifested lots of different homes, even up to who live next door to me on both sides, even to like where they're from, how they're educated. <laughs> it sounds crazy. I was, at, look, I was a child that was, brought up in a rough council estate so state home housing in a little tiny flat I'm not going back there ever again but I'm not putting my energy into that I'm seeing bigger better things and I've had bigger bigger things so the idea is to manifest what is it your heart truly desires okay thank you and they just said if you go with what your heart truly desires you are generating out a frequency of energy and as you do that and they said for your pause what happens is the universe meets you at that space. Now, something that's really important, you have to be aware of, you've got to feel that you're worthy of it. So some people can try to create this and they go, this is what I want, or even just to pay the bills or whatever it is. You know, some things are quite superficial for others and some people are in so much debt, they just want to pay their bills or have enough money to eat. So you have to go with what your heart truly desires to match up your energy i've had people that said you know they are they're in so much debt that they want to have enough money to pay their debt off now with the debt there's like that negative energy around that so you have to move through that you have to look at what would happen once your debt's paid off what is it that you do truly desire what is it that you want we need to look at that energy and not on the energy that's stuck in the debt so we need to sort of move it through and you thank you they said you also have to let go of who you thought you were or what you once were in that in that negative energy state so you have to be mindful of where you are coming from where does that story still play out in you so it helps you to become worthy of you stepping into what it is that you want it's about upgrading your own energy and a lot of what i hear about some of the manifestation um courses or information they don't talk about this they just talk about you get a mood board and then you put it on the wall and then you know you want that car you flip through the magazines or whatever they are great prompts yeah i'm not saying they're not they're fantastic prompts to sort of say yes i'd like that car or that home or whatever it is or if you're childless and you want a child or whatever it is but it has to bring you such an emotional feeling when you connect to it and the images are good as i say because it reminds you of what you want but it's like it has to be emotionally charged to drive you towards where you need it to go because that will magnetize and bring you forward. Okay, thank you. What you said. Okay, okay. They're just patting me on my back, sort of thing, saying, "Well done, well done." This is exactly what we wanted to say. Okay, thank you. Okay. So you can see that it's deeper than the energy of just saying, "This is what you want." Ah. Many of you are restricting us in how we can deliver it to you. By winning the lottery, it has created this energy on your planet that you feel possibly this is the only way that you are able to receive what it is that you need because then you are being aware of the position of lack of where you are in your energy stream that you then place all your dreams on what if I win the lottery? But again, it's about what the heart truly desires. 
we are we always and we are always listening to what is being requested from your planet we hear it from prayer and through uh, people setting the intention and what it is that you want to receive but many of you do not realize that it has to start with yourself it has to be where your body is at as well you are um your mind your body your soul it all comes as one here so if you say one thing we heard a lady the other day she was saying that she wished to and we hear this with men as well we we do not mean to mean to genderize but she wished that she could fit into this swimming suit and we looked at this and we said to ourselves then she needs to stop eating the cakes it's not going to happen by magic this is not magic as such this is you have to make the effort by being participating within it as well so you have to make those changes it's no good to say uh, i wish to pass my driving test or to buy that car if you haven't even started your driving test you have to match up like for like you have to make that you cannot be a brain surgeon if you do not do the course or the studying, if you are studying and you're working towards this, yes, it's easier because you can then, you are aware of what the job holds or entails and it's easier for you to achieve your goals and to be where you need to be. Um, some of you have received recently, we are aware of messages and signs uh, to remind you of, there are some animals we feel on this call that we are aware of and some of the animals have come in to rescue individuals where individuals feel that they um, would like a particular fur baby, as some of you would call that. Um, not many of them like being called that, but it is that you wish for the companionship. And yes, there are those animals that straight away, the frequency is lighter. It's not dense. It's easier for them to step forward and magnetize into your energy. Now, Something also to be aware of, many of you give up hope halfway through thinking it hasn't materialized whatever it is that you wish for as yet, and then your energy drops down. Now, and also there is this other extreme, there is no point in keep, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. This doesn't work either. It doesn't mean you get it quicker. It really doesn't. It's quite annoying actually, because we, we try to say, just calm down, just to relax. So there is also this method that when you are in a high frequency, when or when you are moving within your day, if there's something you enjoy, you're keeping your frequency up in that natural way. It's not the pretense of, oh, I must focus on my energy, I must make it higher. It's to enjoy something. So uh, some of you may enjoy, um, some of you have this, uh, yes, your cappuccinos or hot chocolates or teas or coffees or whatever it is. And you sit there and be mindful of the fact that you have this coffee and you appreciate it. Again, many of you humans do not stay in the mindful state. Many of you, we are aware that you drink your coffee and it's an excuse to sit down for two seconds while you're sorting out about bills or things that you should do. We, your minds are always, always active, very busy, busy, busy minds. So it is to be mindful of your energy, to be aware of how you are feeling, to focus honestly on your um, energy well-being of, of your soul. It's now time to communicate with your soul. It's now to be mindful of where you are at on the energy level. The reason for that is because if you think that you have this coffee, you are thinking of bills or you're thinking of everything else, what happens to your manifestation? It reduces the level of your energy and where you're at. So really it is to be mindful of how you're feeling. Are you feeling on a negative or you're feeling that your energy is distipped? And this is, of course, normal. You're on planet Earth. <laughs> you, many of you watch the news. We can still feel this. Or many of you read the newspapers or many of you are in that dense, low energy at times. And of course, you are having this human experience. But to be aware of, do you need to hear the same thing on the news a hundred times? Really, by hearing, by seeing, it, it, it's this quite devastating, really, on an energetic level. So the idea is to be mindful of your own energy, to maintain your energy. And again, you will have those moments of dips, which is good. You are like the little sailing ship and to navigate through the 
oceans of life. Um, it is good just to be aware of that just like the sailing ship there's a wind or a storm and just like the chaos in life that's fine you the more you do this the more you're aware of this you bring yourself back to this good place and then as you go throughout your day appreciation for what it is that you enjoy some of you are with your animals and you, some of you think that your dogs are smiling back at you your cat is happy to to be with you when really behind your back they're licking your tea or uh, whatever it is they do and we see some of them are quite sneaky uh sitting where they shouldn't be sitting or whatever um yes yeah, so and many of you let these animals they lick your face i mean this is interesting we would not um ourselves individually not that we have faces but Yes, you have to be mindful of this too. So the idea is in your daily life to be mindful of how you are experiencing life, uh, mindful of your temperature as such as your mood, a bit like the weather forecast. That would be a good app. Yes, like the weather forecast you have on your phones. Wouldn't it be interesting if, and some of you have it on your wrist as well now, that you could then look at an app to see how am I feeling? Uh, what's the temperature? Um, you know, is there a storm coming, energy storm? And, and how am I feeling? Because some of you do not understand how you are feeling or where you're in at yourself. And this is what we are saying to, to manage your energy a little bit more efficiently so that with your manifestation, you don't even have to be thinking of exactly what that end product is or what you want. You go about your day, you, you send your list off, you send your email to the universe, you go about your day, you have fun, you enjoy yourself. Life is about fun. Children, they daydream. They are the best manifestors because they daydream. And that's where your energy should be at, as in they're like the daydreaming and allowing yourself to do this. And that's the best manifesting energy is to have fun. And you know how many there are on this side that um, spirits that <laughs> regret the fact they didn't have enough fun. And so they always like screaming at you and saying, come on, have more fun in your life. And some of you are making this very hard on yourselves. Uh, but this is just how sometimes a human can be and the family life you're born into. So the idea is to manage your own well-being, to experience as you are being human, being your being. Most of you are doing and not being in the moment. And while you're doing this, your energy will be more um, engaged with the universe so it's not just about having that in your head what it is that you wish but also to maintain your energy and this will help you um, and you can have it then just like this the universe just delivers it just like this but you have to step into the energy of what it is that you need you have to feel it <laughs> I'm having a whole collection tonight going in and out of my guides. It's very interesting. Um, also, what I've, I've done is that when I uh, go to bed at night, some people might think, oh, they, you might already do this, but I'm also very grateful to be breathing and grateful to be, I've seen the day out and that's really important too. Um, it's like, I always give thanks before I go to bed. I always look at the, the brilliant things I've had happen throughout the day. I try to think of at least five things before I go to sleep. I've been doing this for years now in the sense of I do that because of the amount of health issues I've had and I've noticed helped me with my energy. So before I go to bed, I think of at least five things that's happened in the day, something like the little snapshots that's made me feel happy, something that's brought me so much joy. Um, and I write them down and I go for it in my head and I say thank you. I really do say thank you. And it's up to you whether you say thank you to God, your angels, whoever it is. But I, I give thanks. Um, and then also I also wake up and say thank you because I'm breathing again and that my lungs are working. and I, I've got another day ahead of me. So and, and I don't think people I think people think it's a given that you're going to wake up. But for me, I think, you know, literally because everything has happened health wise with me, I do give thanks for waking up the next day as well. All these little tiny little snippets are little tiny bits that will help you on your journey. So it's entirely up to you how you do it, the way you do it. But these are some of the clues. There will be a bigger workshop on this shortly uh, where we're actually um Okay, thank you. They'll do some exercises to show you things. And then you can see, thank you, they just said the magic of it, how it manifests. So literally the workshops will be more energy because you'll be working with individuals all doing it together to power up the energy. And then you can really focus on it and that will work as well. Okay, I think that's all their information. Yeah, 